And welcome back to more Let's Play Donkey Kong 64. If you recall the ending of the last part, we dropped down into the, um, castle. And now, it's that, it's everyone's favorite sadistic scarab, this guy. And we're gonna have to beat him in a race. So, as per usual with the really hard mini games, I will show you my first run and my successful run. So what you're seeing right now is my first run. I had the wrong idea trying to do the stand, because you can't break that barrel when you're standing, and I think that, well, that isn't what lost me the race, that just made it so I really couldn't have won anyway, but, so you'll notice there's ice, that makes it difficult, because you have to grab 50 coins and, be and beat him. So, because I only have four minutes of video due to my policy of, you know, only showing those, I am going to have some outtakes, and I ha don't know yet if I'll narrate them. Who knows? Anyway, yeah, so, really, you should have probably about 17 by now, and 20 by there. Not to say you can't win with the number I have, but it's going to be harder, because you can't miss as many, and there are some that are really hard to get. So, you want to try to get all of them on these areas where you're running, because those are actually easier. And I'm sorry if the frame rate's a bit bad, but yeah, I didn't see that coming. But if the frame rate's a bit bad, that's because I've been recording for like 40 minutes at this point. Anyway, now I'm going to show you my first successful run. And this was about probably 30 minutes later. So keep that in mind. If it looks like I know the path a lot better and I know the tra strategies to get these coins, it's because I do. Notice, I get every coin in this first... Oh, okay, I missed one. But I get both of these. You just kind of have to know when to start turning, taking into account the fact that you're going to slide. And if you can pass him early like I just did, that's huge. Because there are some turns later where you will have to slow down or wipe out, and if you can have as much room between you and him as possible, that's just great. And obviously, I'm a bit short of what I should be right now. Like I said, you should have 17 there, but it's perfectly fine. You can do it, you just have to have a good run. So, I would say as long as you have 25... Actually, yeah, I would say as long as you have 25 by this one here, you're probably okay. But anyway, you have to slow down here, and you have to jump. If you don't jump, you won't make it. And you have to slow down, and you have to turn, because he won't do it himself. And you also have to figure out which path to take. Once you find the one with the coins, it's an S-shape. It just goes back and forth. It's not going to make you do some wacky, you know, 45-degree turn. That's That would be mean, even by this game standards. So, of course... That makes 50. Now all I have to do is win. If you don't jump there, it's a very hard thing. It's a very hard turn to make, but if you do jump there, you could go flying. Totally your decision. But anyway, I beat him. That's it for the regular part of this part, so I guess I'm Homestar92, and now that I got the banana, I'll see you guys in another part. So, actually, I've still got a little bit left in here, but I guess in the next part we'll have bananas that aren't quite that difficult, and yeah, I suppose that's it. See you guys then. Later. But wait, there's more. These are some of my favorite runs. Alright guys, I saved three runs on this to show you, because I thought three of them kind of exemplified the cruelness of this game. I don't remember which one's which, since I put together the compilation yesterday and I'm narrow narrating it, you know, today. Today being Monday, um, March 15th, 2009, if that gives you any idea of the amount of time between recording and uploading. So it's it's actually a bit more than most LPRs. I do like to record well in advance, because as you've seen from me before, when I don't record well in advance, I run out of parts. And see, this is just the beginning of a plague me crashing into him and losing him, because every time you try to pass him, you're going to crash. And if you don't pass him early, it's going to cost you a lot, because besides hitting him twice, I've had a good run to this point, you know? So it's just kind of 
one of the evils of this game, and it's very beatable. If you hit him a couple times, you just have to be that much better, which I'm only about two behind where I should be right now, so that's pretty good. And of course, now I'm several behind where I should be, but if you can get all of them on this slide, which is not too bad or hard. I mean, I missed two of them right there, so, you know. But, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what I was going to say. Notice how close he's getting to me. And now I have to cut corners to stay ahead, which means I'm going to lose coins. For it. And this is the best run ever, because as you can see, I beat him, but I had 49 coins. And that is just the worst feeling in the world. I mean, there really is nothing worse than that. At all. So this is the second run. Um, once again, I don't remember what was special about this one that made me choose it. But there are two runs that I know of, and it could be either one of them. I'm not going to take a guess just yet. But, um... Yeah, you know, as you can see, these are actually these are in chronological order. At least the outtakes are. Obviously, there's some time passing between them, but these are more or less chronological. So you can see how I'm kind of learning the path, and that's one of the things that this game does to you. You will there will be some rote memorization. If you can't memorize things, you cannot play Donkey Kong 64. It's just that simple. So yeah, I mean, it, this is a really really evil game. This LP, I brought it on myself. You guys didn't even ask for it. And I was going to say I hate you for making me do this, but you didn't make me do this. I made me do this. Oh, I hate myself. I hate myself for loving you. Sorry. Song reference of the day. Um, see, as you can see, pretty good run. I've got... I'm about where I should be right now. I'm actually doing better than I should be, actually. Especially with slowing down there. That's definitely a place you want to slow down. But this is where the fun begins. This is where everything starts to fall apart. And this is where the god of luck takes a dump on me. And as you can see, 49 and I fall off. That's awesome, isn't it? So, that was the second run that I thought was pretty funny, and by funny I mean awful. And this next run, now that I know what it is, this next run is actually the one where I got, um, I'll just go ahead and tell you right now what happened. I actually, um, got 50, or no, this isn't the one where I got 50. I didn't get 50, nor was I beating him, but the game really just screwed me over. I couldn't have won anyway, but it's just one of those things that... It just, the concept makes me mad. I was way out of the game by the time I got to that part, but it's just cruel, really, what this game did to me. So, you know, I'm at 16, that's pretty darn close to where I should be, and I got all three of those, which is great. So now I'm way ahead of where I should be. I'm so far ahead of the game, it's not even funny. So, it's, all in all, you can see, shaping out to be a pretty good run. This run got me excited. I thought for sure this would be the one. This would be the time that I would beat him, and the game screwed me over royally. It was awful. You know, random thoughts, kind of an ADD moment, but I really feel like a movie director right now doing this commentary. It's kind of a cool feeling. Anyway, almost fell off there, but I saved myself because I'm baller like that. And of course, notice he passed me and made me lose a bunch of my coins and screwed me over. And notice, I could actually win. I'm in a spot where I could win, but I fell off again. Isn't that special? Anyway, I'm Homestar92. See you guys in the next part. That's all the time I have. Later.